the whole intimidation of of independent media influences. I'm not standing for that. And I was, you know, that's why I said all these other media niggas be suckers. Cause like the first thing that came to my mind is like, I'm gonna see how real these niggas are. By the time I get home, I'm in Houston right now. By the time I get home, nigga, let's, yo, if if, bro, she's trying to big bang take little bang type shit. Like she's trying to shut somebody up. And if any artists feel like they could get that off on anybody, maybe not me. Maybe they could get off on. I'm not saying she don't got bread or whatever, but get off on her or anybody else. Nigga, that's going to be the tactic. So really, I was going to be like, yo, I'm going to just see what these media niggas have with it. All right, yo, let's start a GoFundMe. Nigga. I'm going to just throw the first 10, 15,000 in there. Let's see if anybody else is going to contribute. Because the moment we let Rock Nation, and it's not about it's not about an artist. Rock Nation, any of these entities feel like if they sue a blogger or they sue a news reporter in this independent media industry and they can just shut you up, get in get some type of injunctive measure to make sure you don't report about whatever. Right now, Megan's getting killed, but she getting killed by her own accord. Look, how y'all gonna file a lawsuit on Milagro and then the next day she put out a goddamn documentary. Documentary, she in the documentary say she lied. I was just, I was looking at it, I'm like, yo, if it come down to it, even if I'm getting involved, like it's gonna be like, yo, I'm gonna just see who gonna put up and shut up because at the end of the day, this whole new media independent game we got going on, we gotta start seeing I ain't saying we unionize and type shit, but we got to start seeing who's really for it. Shout out again to all those people who hate my guts, but is sitting in a quiet place listening to my show. You are obsessed and sick.